Hi there, my name is Phil Carrick from OnlineMarketingBodies.com and today I'm with Kevin Young, the proprietor of Saints Cafe in, in Sainfield. And um, the reason why I'm with Kevin is I, um, I walked past Ke Kevin's, Kevin's Cafe um, um, uh, a, n a number of weeks ago and something just caught my eye from a marketing perspective and I thought, well, that's just fantastic forms of guerrilla marketing and that's really what other, other businesses should be, um, should be doing. So without further ado, if I can just let you, um, hand over to Kevin and, um, and he'll tell us a little bit of what he's been up to and what marketing particularly caught my eye. Hi Kevin. Hi Phil, how are you doing? How are you? You want to hang on there? Yes, I'll hang on to this if that's alright. So, um, obviously when I came, when I came past your, your um, cafe a number of weeks ago, you were on the pavement doing something. Can was, you just yeah. t tell me something about that please? Yeah, well, what I do Phil of, of a nice sunny day is I will take some coloured chalks I'll go out onto the street outside and decorate the pavement okay. uh, with various messages. Uh, usually something simple, quick, uh, easy. Things like uh, love coffee, love food, love music, love saints. Okay. Uh, in in uh, big, bold, bright letters. Uh, or another day, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe write fancy a cup of tea, madam. Fancy a coffee, madam. Uh, and, and that in itself, you know, you're, you're, you're writing on the pavement, so immediately people stop to read it. Sure. Uh, secondly, I'm probably trying to be a bit of a, a smart aleck and, and, and with a little bit of subliminal messaging, as in saying, fancy a cup of tea, and someone to think, maybe I do, <laughs> you know. Uh, and it, it has worked a treat. I mean, I have had great feedback from my customers. Uh, in that people are coming in and saying, I saw your message outside yes. and I'm here for a cup of tea or a coffee or a bun. And secondly, from uh, patrons of Seinfeld, I think they've really enjoyed the, the quirkiness of it. The, you know, it's, uh, it's fun. You know, it's a, it's a talking point. People are laughing about it, chatting about it. Yes. And of course, it's in chalk. So the next time it rains, it disappears. Absolutely. You know, there, there, there's nothing left behind. You know, there's no, there's no damage. There's no, uh, there's no graffiti. And people seem to have enjoyed me doing it. So yes. uh, I've, I've kept it up. I've actually stretched out a little bit where I will now go a little bit further afield. So I'll maybe go down to the post office. I'll go around to the garage, around oh, the corner. Right. Okay. And just uh, in a few uh, quiet spots, I'll just write the word saints and a question mark. <laughs> uh, and to me, again, that's that subliminal thing that people see it and maybe don't even know they see it. Absolutely. You know? Or maybe they see it and, and they realize they've seen it and they laugh about it, you know. But it's but the intrigue, isn't it? It's the intrigue and it's the, it's the, it's, it's, it's doing what it's meant to do. It's just saying the word saints and making people think about saints. Do I want to go there? They then make a decision. Yes, I do. Or yes. no, I don't. And hopefully they make the decision that they do. You know, That's and like perfect. I said at the start, it's free. Uh, it's fun. I enjoy doing it. My customers seem to enjoy it. You know, it's, uh, I kind of think, why not? And that's that, and that's very much the theme of, uh, of today's today's interview. It's the power of free or very low cost marketing, and you, you seem to have nailed it on the head using what we call guerrilla marketing strategies. You know, thinking outside the box, but more more importantly, I'm taking action outside the box, and that's where a lot of business, small businesses um, fail. You know, yes, they can think differently. But they don't actually go out and do it. Mm -hmm. And would you agree with that? Yeah, I do. I do. You know, and I uh, I come from a corporate background where uh, we were constantly challenged to think of different ideas, and, and, and you know, we we had no budget. Working in retail stores or working in, in, a, in, a, in a, as a group of retail stores, you know, you have no budget. But you need to deliver yes, a message. Absolutely. So what do you do? You know, and we've been, you know, various things, blowing up balloons and, and, and yeah, giving out little flyers. And, and this was one of those things. I thought, what am I going to do here? I want to get a message out. Uh, and I decided that I would do it in chalk on the street. You know. And then after after that, after I've done the, after I've done that, I can then and have done. You've seen it. Take uh, photographs. Yes. Post online, and that then that that viral thing. You know that that uh, the first day I posted that I got uh, 80 likes and 80 comments, uh, and that's a whole lot. That's a whole lot for a small business oh, on Facebook. You it know? absolutely is. And, and those 80 people liking that, that will then all of the all of the friends that they have on Facebook will see that as well. So that's yes. 80 times the number of friends that people have on Facebook, you know, which runs into to, uh, high hundreds, maybe thousands of people seeing that message for nothing. I mean, uh, 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 social media is absolutely huge, isn't it? I mean, yes. you, you've had you've had great responses through social media, but like many things, it's 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 not it's not who you know, mm -hmm. it's it's who your friends know. Yeah. 
and um, and that really is an important thing for both LinkedIn and Facebook and and YouTube as well, which um, we, which we'll, um, we'll post this on YouTube and hopefully we'll get you a few few followers on YouTube as well. Just a, a, qu a quick sum. I. Uh Worked out. I think I was told. I think that Facebook now give you a weekly update, you know, of how your page is doing. They and do stuff. called they insights. Do. Insight. That's right. <coughs> so on that, uh, if all the friends of all my friends had liked something that I had posted on Facebook, right. I would have had sixty-seven thousand likes. <laughs> okay. So all the friends, well, that's sixty-seven thousand people. Incredible, it's isn't incredible, it? Incredible, you know. Uh -huh. And I just put that little message on one day. Do you know if all the people you know? Liked what I've just posted, I would have 67,000 likes. Absolutely. Incredible, you know, incredible. I mean, you can't, I mean, what, would, what would it cost you in the Belfast Telegraph to, to do that, you know? Well, it costs yeah. an absolute fortune. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, just had a, I just had a quote for a, um, a, a, a local newspaper that will remain nameless, but a quarter page ad, you know, that was, that was costing us nearly £250 plus VAT. Yeah. And you really don't know who, who you're targeting. No, no. You don't know how many people are, are, are viewing your ad. With Facebook, you know exactly who's yeah. viewing it, and you know whose friends are viewing it. It's, yeah. it's phenomenal. It's the best form of um, uh, of direct marketing. Would you agree? I would absolutely agree, and I use it uh, every day. I will update every day. I will use a lot of uh, images, photographs of I was sent earlier of interesting things. You know, pots of soup before they're cooked. I, I will post three stages of making scones. So yes. just the flour and the butter. Then the scones before they go in the oven. Then the scones when they come out, and uh, people seem to love this. They, they they love this idea of seeing a picture of food. They're intrigued by it. They they look well, you know, and uh, it's driving people into my business. You know, I will get people specifically coming to my shop because they saw that I had mushroom soup on today. Brilliant. Or because I had you know carrot and lentil soup on today, yeah. and they've seen that on Facebook, and they're here exactly because of that. Well, I've I've seen several of you your posts on Facebook, and I, I've got to agree that they're, they're, they're delicious pictures, yeah. and and it, it it is the intrigue. You want to come in and you yeah. want to try some of these yeah. things, Great. and and w with you. With, with your um, your different form of marketing as well, you 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 know you're absolutely doing the right thing, especially in today's market. You have to you have to think outside the box, don't you? Well, that's thing. I've no budget for it, or or what what little budget I have doesn't get me very much at all in in uh, traditional marketing, if you like, you know. So the money that I have to spend on that, I might as well not bother. Yes, so absolutely. I, I have to think of other ways and other things to do it, and. Uh, and like I say, the internet, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, I'm a, I'm a big Twitter user. They're free. You know, they're free. And, and, and not only do I love them, the, the whole the rest of the world loves them. You know, the rest <laughs> of the world loves Absolutely. Facebook, you know. Uh, and I just feel it's a very, very, it's not the only way. You know, it's not the only way. I think there's still a lot to be said for speaking to people face to face and, and delighting customers when they're in here. But it's certainly a great driver, you know, for, for driving people towards your store. Uh, I've read a, a few of your posts and, and you know, uh, the idea of magnetic marketing, you know, attracting yes. people to you. Uh, and Facebook is surely one of the best ways of attracting people to you it without is. going out and, and, you know, knocking on doors. Absolutely. You know? uh, and, and we try to, because we're a small cafe in a small village. And we have to try to use some form of magnetic marketing. I have to get people to come to me. Yes. You know? And I am you know, I have I had ladies here last week who told me that they were here because their daughter in America saw a post on Facebook, told her mum who's here to come and see this cafe in Sainfield. That's uh, incredible. And, and it was just, it's just one of those viral things. A friend of a friend of a friend who's in uh, yep. America told her mum, come here. And she came here and told me I'm here because my daughter in America told me to come here. That's fantastic. Just, brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. You know, and that, that was only last week. And they came in, three ladies. And I think they spent 30 or 40 pounds. And to yes. me, that's a big deal. Of course you know, it three is. Three or four ladies spending 40 pounds is a big deal. But it's, uh, but, but it's also known that, you know, you have the potential of uh, future, future well, yeah. marketing to those people as well. So it's, it's not just the, it's not the initial um, acquisition cost, is it? No, no, of course not. And while they're here, I just work, and my, my team work very hard at making sure people are delighted whilst they're here. They come yes. in, they really enjoy the experience, and hopefully they come back. You know, that's Perfect. it. So. Well, I'd just like to say, Kevin Young from Saints Cafe in Saintfield, and they've just opened a, a deli about three doors down. So I would, I would recommend that you check them out. Their, their coffee is absolutely fantastic. So I'd just like to say thanks once again, Kevin, and I wish you every success.